See, here's what I and think. And also, do you think it's okay to be to be mean to politician kids? No. Nah, people, nah, are, nah. people were having a conversation saying that it is okay for them to call out politician kids because they are parents I, that they want to destroy the country. See, if we start to enter Nigeria's problem on this, <laughs> this podcast. You might you know somebody um, is hey, maybe you get married to somebody or you're with somebody in your trenches days. And maybe she's not the most fashionable person. Do you understand? Like you not get to like, you not get to your promised land that you have been trying to get. And I say mm. she's not my spec anymore. Men actually like have feelings for men. No, 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 no. Pause. No, no, I'm, <laughs> in terms of, you, you want to spend quality time with your guys. You want to watch football with your guys. You really guys with Yan with your guys. When that comes to your babes, you're expecting, you're expecting that to be subservient to you. It's calm. Welcome to another ex- exciting edition of Zero Conditions Podcast. Melody is back in the building. Talani is not around, noticeably. Yeah, you can even sit in the air everywhere, it's quiet. But we've got Dennis and we've got Lulu in the building. Back again, like Back we never again, left. Back again, like we never left. It feels like you guys are now like, you guys are now you part of the Conditions family. Well, we are here. Well, we are here. Thank you guys here. for coming. And of course, we've got our shivers in the building. Dennis has got a cup for himself already. Lulu is waiting for mixer and I don't know why they poured for me, but it's calm. It's fine. You must drink. Cool. I don't understand. What are we here for? <laughs> <laughs> we are back for another edition of Zero Conditions. And we are going to be talking about so many things happening already. Lulu was giving me some gist. Dennis was giving me some gist. So we're going to dive into it. I don't, I don't know where to start, start from. Should we go with Dennis gist first? Dennis gist is, is more... It's very, it's very hot. You want to start this whole thing on like a very, very... Yeah, on a very like, what's going on? On a very somber note. Please, <laughs> and just in case you do not know, we are live on Pop Central, channel 189. Yes, we are. Yeah. Then you should just start with yourself. I feel like... Lulu, 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 that one was today. I think that's the first thing we should talk about. <laughs> it wasn't today now. It was Did you see the Malays, the, the interview? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was today now. Yeah, was yeah, it? No. It was yesterday. Two days ago. Which can you get to? <laughs> like two, three days ago. Go oh, fair. Oh, my family just told me this evening that oh, the Malays said somebody stole his sound. His sound. Is that the one you guys are referring to? The one I'm referring to is the first one that I saw, the first clip I saw where he was speaking about um, where he had a thing with Amazon Music, where he spoke about Nigerian media not supporting him. Oh, that, just, that, that I didn't see. That one I didn't see. Come on, that's Come on. You guys didn't see. I didn't see that one. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play out now. Are you serious? No. Nigerian is it Nigerian media and gatekeepers? <laughs> I wonder if you are still dealing with gatekeepers in 2024. No, he, he... maybe <laughs> you are the problem. <laughs> I, I normally can't say that. Like, he can't say I that. We said this time, like, it was the last artist that really, really blew. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I remember, like, that was pandemic year. I don't like, feel loved. Only, okay. There was only so much. I have my family. Mm-hmm. I have my team. But I don't feel... Maybe I'm loved, but I don't feel that way. Um, especially by the media. And especially by, um, what, the people that call themselves the gatekeepers. Man. This is something I've never talked. This is something I've never talked about. I am that artist that just lives in a fantasy world. I just live in my head. Yeah. 90%. <laughs> Why do you that's have that funny. Face? That's, that's who, funny. Who, who, who has time? Like who? Like we know we said superstar Terry should like comes and hits or whatever. But like, think about who really hits on Amali. Like, I don't even think it's a hate thing. It's the fact that he says he doesn't feel loved by media. Okay, he, he didn't even say Nigerian. I think he said media. But he, he also is and not that guy, because... right? You know that Omale, the most we know about Omale, he, there's nothing about like his personal life or anything that anybody wants to know. It's just the music, right? He doesn't put anything else out there, right? And it's like, at the end of the day, what is there to hate in music? The music is good. So if the music is all you're giving us, you might as well give us the music and we'll enjoy it. But I don't know that there's no, anybody no. There's anybody saying, because like everybody loves an Omale song, you know? I don't even think it's just an everybody loves an Omale song. I think it's more of Omale is a loved artist. I, I think that, like we, let's go to the beginning of Omale, like when we first got introduced to Omale, it was during the lockdown. lockdown yeah. And 
you know his his plat his um his team the people that he was signed to at the time you know they put in so much work online and also with radio i know for a fact that omale was an artist that was played a lot on radio when his music dropped and generally the conversation around omale is always about his mental space the kind of music that he does and even sometimes when he drops music i see fans asking saying things like is he okay how is his mental health I, we just hope that they're not just trying to get this guy to do music and not does he does he have a therapist because people are of the opinion that for the kind of music that he does they think that there's something going on with him mentally they assume because of the music and he, he even has he's a artist that people started the afro depression conversation around because of the type of music that he does if i'm not wrong so i don't think that he's an artist that people do not like People even worry about him. People even show him love. Nigeria, like the media has always shown normally love, even from the first day that he dropped his body of work. So I don't really understand that narrative of like, he doesn't feel loved by media. That one is hard, because like, I don't know. That I've not seen, right? Have you seen anything like that? No, I mean, I, normally I love your music, so. Yeah. So yeah, I don't, I think like, with this whole conversation is more of a thing, like, I guess maybe because he's not championed in quite the same way as like the big guys. So like for example, like they can say who are mm. the big three or big four, whatever new generation. You see, we will talk. Uh, mention Shaka, mention Rema, mention Tel, mention Arasta. Might take a while for the mention of Mali. It doesn't mean you're. A, it doesn't mean you're not a superstar. It just means that maybe people you don't come top of mind in those conversations. But like I said, he's just not that guy. There's nothing ex- outside outside of the music for Mali. Yeah, he's, he's not giving you pa- yeah. lifestyle content. He's it's not giving you. Well, yeah. He's not giving you fashion brand content. He's not giving you anything except from the music. Is that a bad thing? It's not a bad yeah, thing if that's what it, if you if that's what you are. Gives everything like to yeah. your music. Yeah. So and in that way, like that's the purest form of thing because fine people might be expecting you to make a sad song or whatever, but at the very least they know that at every point in time. You're making music that is true to yourself. You're making music that is a piece of you. Do you understand? It's not a case of... Because nobody thinks of Omali and thinks, oh, he has hit songs, yes. But, like, nobody's thinking Omali made this like, as a gimmick. No. Yes. So, and I think that's, like, the purest form of being I superstar. agree. Like, if Omali decides to pull up and do a 10,000 people show in Lagos, it's going to sell out. Facts. It's to sell out. Facts. So, Easy. Yeah, so I, 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 I get... Maybe I might get... Maybe because maybe it's not... The notoriety is not there as far as, like, oh, Omali this, Omali that... Maybe he's looking for hits. I don't know. Maybe, uh, I think. He has hits. So his his album rollouts, right? Because that's how he came again to say to and said, "Oh, somebody stole his sound. Um, he sent the music to someone. He spoke about his idea. Um, he spoke about his idea to someone, and then the person went and made a full album out of his idea. Um, we cannot deny or confirm that, right? Because at the end of the day, he did not say who the person, person. is." And we can't go to the person and say, "Come, <laughs> you see for la- <laughs> you see for Mali sound, yes or no, right?" But like at the end of the day, it's it's just right now. What just what what's just funny to me is you have an album coming out sooner than later, right? And then you are doing all these things back to back. It's like okay, you're trying to build that attention to yourself. And Let me watch my words. <laughs> let me watch my words. Let me political connects real quick. Let me let me watch my words, but it's it's roll out your music, man. <laughs> Just roll out your music. There's no need for all of this. Why is that whenever I to say these things, the first thing that comes to you your mind or like people's minds always album rollouts? Is it because you're in music? Yes, because it's literally and what it is. Time and time again. You've done it so many times. It's like, not like congrats, have fun. I'll when the album comes out. Ah, yeah. But I also don't the, the album will be mad. It's Omali. Yes, it's will bang. Yes. Ooh, that's, that's why there's no need. So I, I think the single he dropped today is a banger. There's no need. <laughs> Let's the focus on I that. Listen to, oh, I don't read artist profiles a lot. Mm. That is not Nigerian led. Hmm. Or when you're talking to me. Because you will piss me off. What do you mean Nigerian led? <laughs> like if it's not a Nigerian outlet or is in Nigerian interview or something like that, like there's no direct content, um, direct um, tying to somebody that like knows you like authentically. Okay, like that's artist profile done by 
Yeah, yeah. So in like non Nigerian. That you're talking about, Mali did something with Amazon Music. I'm sure the interview was not Nigerian. Oh. The one you were talking about today was not Nigerian. Nah. So like you're basically trying to shape narrative in a way that would, that will piss me off. Because I I want to listen to your music. Like after, when Brother Boy went on that whole thing before Love Damini, I did. I didn't do, Love Damini until like maybe four months after. And even now I was like, I have to listen to this for work. Because I'm like. All the things you've said, like, I don't understand why you're saying these things now. Well, the whole Afrobeats is business thing. Yeah, now, like, the whole, yeah, the you whole, think you are no substance, da 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 Yeah, that was, that was uh, for this last that album. That was for this last one, so I mean, like, he's always saying something. Yeah, that's why I don't know, because those things are for you to shape your narrative and to say, okay, this is how you are supposed to be looked at, or this is how you are, or whatever. Like, your Malay thing, like... I'm sure everybody that heard it was like, huh? what do you mean that you're not like? They're not loved. Like what do you? Bro, mean you're not loved? people that love Umali love a lot. Like they love like Umali. He's loved, and I don't even like that. Sometimes when these conversations are happening with us, I don't even like the media narratives. It feels like that's the, it's mid Nigerian. Like it's just the media that gets the, the yabs and the disses a lot of times because these people are the ones that support you before you become international and it feels like whenever we get to that point it's like oh i don't i don't roll with this so i don't there's always a problem then tomorrow they'll now come out and say these people don't carry don't carry our stories enough there's always a problem with nigerian media i mean i i said last time that i, I was trying to interview somebody <laughs> da, 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 they shanked me for that but after that episode like three of four people like texted me like during the week like yo like let's do music and i'm like okay you know what fair and i scheduled like two interviews None of them showed up. <laughs> One of them is doing well for himself right now. Like, he's not, he's not a small artist. She understand. I will mention his name off but like, you're going to be like, huh? He didn't show up for the interview. But like, he my, reached out. He seemed reached yeah, out. Team, yeah, they did reach out to me. Like, after that, I literally, pod, I, uh, I was going to just be like, yeah, send it to this person. But they said, but I said it to do it. My editor was like, ah, what's going on? And I'm like, ah. You scheduled call. I got there. I was there for 15 minutes. My guy didn't show. Then I said, I should send question via email. Like, what do you want me to write? It's impersonal. I don't do that. Yeah. Except I'm asking you just for quotes that I want to just put in, like, two paragraphs. But it's a profile about you. If I send you 15 questions, how will you answer them? Will you, will you type them back to me or what? And it will just be... They can even be sending you one-word answers. Yeah, and again, like, imagine... <laughs> like, I'm sure you'll be on radio where you are telling artists to it's 2 p.m. that's your interview and they'll be walking in like at 2 4. I'm with an attitude. Yeah. <laughs> like with an attitude. Because there's this. You touch the nerve there. <laughs> with an attitude. Like, oh yeah, I was. Oh yeah, I was. Sometimes they'd be like, um, the traffic. Can we do this? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I want to do this. The two of them are big. Like, one is like getting to the point where like. Did he show up? Star. Both did not show up. They did not show up. Did they send an apology? Did that seem richer? Yeah, they asked him for two. Yeah, now, now you're just. Yeah. Now you're. Yeah. Now you're yeah. Give it so much. They <laughs> asked you for two. And much. like when they. Now nah, they were not texting me like. I'm It's very funny uh, to me. I, I find it. I just. I, I. I don't know if it's a Nigerian thing. I've never lived, you know, outside of Nigeria. I don't know how celebrities in that in those spaces I'm sure deal with like media or I. But it, it can't be this bad. I'm sure it. I, I'm sure it. It, it can. Hmm. I don't. Obviously, I don't. I'm not in the media space there. Hmm. But I'm sure it can because also we are dealing in an industry where we are not necessarily the most professional people generally. Mm -hmm. Like on the art side that's see i think coming into this business one of the first things i learned was art is decrease is now you on the professional side that needs to manage it work around it because you literally have to be crazy to create art to create something out of nothing you literally have to be a bit nuts <laughs> right so you on the pro side just deciding to be professional you also have to understand that i'm dealing with mad people here and move accordingly right i understand how you are moving okay you want to move this way you want to you want to caress egos you want to be firm yeah. and decide however you move this is my stance right depending on what the outcome you are looking for is you know because mm -hmm. at the end of the day 
some people don't need the artist, right? There's people that actually need the artist. So if you are firm and you need artist, or more, it's in your eye go see. No. <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah. if you are firm and you're in this position where you don't need the artist, for example, you guys, eh, eh, that's when you can say, Omo, if you, like. if you come for my interview past 9.05, I'm going to close the door. Which there's somebody that literally, that's our MO in this industry, right? If you if I, your interview is 9 and you get a 9.05, she's, not going, she's not going to open the door. She has moved on. She would find something to do it. To, I don't know how she always finds something to plug up the time with, you know. So it's like she's at the point where artist or no artist, my show is going to go on. I think that's how it should be. Like, you know, I feel like building a life around an artist is very. Is 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 see? Trust me. It's very. It's, it's but scary. like you also, they, they are actually mad people. <laughs> actually, there's one or two screws that it might not be loose. It might just be. The places where you on the pro side, your own nuts are screwed. They, their own nuts are screwed in a different way. But speaking about so the things that you find yeah. important or normal, we don't find them important. So yeah. the things that you find unimportant, we find them very important. On this conversation of journalists or media and celebrities, did you guys see the cancellation of Blake Lively? Who's cancelling Blake Lively? Are you people? Are you people in this world? Blake Lively has been going through hell. Has gone, I know, she has I know gone through a series of... Yeah, I know there's been things that like, why well, is Cassie declaring it? TikTok. Social media, they've been put, putting out videos. Yeah, yeah but... Nah, me, I'm, I've even been online. They I've been watching stuff. Videos With her husband doing all the waka waka about. And also, it came off the promotion of this It Ends With Us um, movie that dropped. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, the, during the press tour, she had people, they zoomed in on her character, the way she was responding. One journalist from way back an old journalist that interviewed her in the past put out a video. Basically, what they're trying to establish is that she's very mean and she's... Oh, is it that person they were asking her about something irrelevant and she was like... So, d- different things. The first one, the journalist asked her, so after, this was when she just gave birth. Or yeah. I think she, she, yeah. Okay, no, no, no. She just announced or people just found out that she was pregnant or something. So she came for an interview for a totally different movie and she, the journalist was like, saw her and was trying to, according to the journalist, she was trying to break the ice. And just be nice and just be like so, so she told her oh hi cute bump there like the cute baby bump and something or cute bump believe so something like that and the client looked at the journalist and told her, cute bump there so like, Oof. Cute, cute bump okay, that's that's very very spicy and the girl is not pregnant <laughs> it is very spicy do you understand <laughs> there's another question that the girl asked her about like dressing up i think it was the same journalist that asked her about dressing up like how did she feel about you know, the clothes that she wore on set and everything. And she's like, I wonder, she, so she, I think she turned to the other person, the other actor that came with her and said, I wonder if they would ask men about their clothes on set. Mm. And both of them just looked at themselves and they laughed and they giggled and the entire time they did not face the journalist. So they started bringing up all those old videos of her being mean. During this her tour, this her, um, it ended with us like run, press run. They said that she was mean to the director. She reduced, okay, they also asked her about her time as an actor on that set and she said that she's not the type of actor or actress that you can just give scripts to and tell them what to do that as a person she needs to be involved in the clo- in the costume in the direction in the production and everything and she's very hands-on that she can't function in, this, in a place where they're just giving her like roles and script and things to say and people were like that means that you're trying to tell us that she's undermining the, the role and the responsibility of the director which that she's trying to infer that she was the one who did all of those things so yeah there's been going on so much cancellation for her. Then they brought up the fact that she and her husband got married on a plantation from way back. She and Ryan. Yes, no, they got married on a plantation. One slavery-related story. Then they brought up the fact that oh. her husband was not married to Scarlett. So that's the thing with America. Once they, once they decide to sit on your matter, hmm. plus the ones that you know, <laughs> plus the ones that the you don't know. said that that interview made her almost quit journalism. Nah, she's, she's doing so much, bro. The, the journalist now, she just, even that one too, has gone on a full press tour. Has been reposting. Thank you for everyone that believes in my trauma. So Blake Lively has actually been going through it as an actress. Like I haven't seen anything about yeah, it. It's been crazy. Now, I've seen that video that you're talking about. Really cute baby, but I think I watched it, but like you didn't get I the mean, context. I didn't get like oh, I didn't get the context. It was, it's been crazy. Oh damn! Cause like so that's oh okay so because usually right, right now just to pull her into like 
promotion for Deadpool or for his movies yeah. and whatnot. They even now criticize that one. That why did, I think they said the husband wrote one scene or something. They start criticizing that they put them on that. She just went. That's why she's been literally quiet. MIA. Out of the old Deadpool fa- um, versus she's been, she's been really Deadpool quiet. and Wolverine thing. She's been really That's quiet. interesting. She's been, she's been really quiet and they're literally like questioning how she reacts to like journalists and questions during talk. So when we're talking about this thing, I'm just like, yeah, that is in America. I don't even think that if that kind of conversation can happen in Nigeria where they're trying to now like hold the person accountable and be like, oh, what is a celebrity? Why did you talk to this person like this? Why did you talk to that person like this? Everybody's always just trying to be on the good side of the, of the celebrity or of the artist and be like, oh yes, this is why you need to just let it go. This is how this person is. Nigerians <laughs> react, they just don't stand on business as much as they think that they do. Hmm. Nigerian audience, have you? They just they just react to stuff. They don't stand on business. Like, cause not necessarily. I, I, and I like the fact that a lot of things have happened this year to show that Nigerians don't know how to hate. Example. No, we don't. We generally you, are not. No, we are generally mean, are not. It's it, it, it team people. Not, we don't know how to hate. We can like we, we can. Bro, the South Africa thing of ordering boats that happened this week. Once it's uh-huh. it's cruel. It's not any first, bro. Do you know how twisted that was your mind has? Like it's really to, like you know the first one that actually killed me this year was when Megan and Harry came to Nigeria and like British people were like <laughs> they were so mean were so and I just mean. like but they came to our country and we didn't have any problem and like they were so shocked like oh my god and they realized that you British people like the tabloid those tabloid are like they are nah, they're, they're, they're generally the meanest people they're so mean, mean. that's why I'm like at some point I was like I was even clutching my own pills like you can say that no 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 they went in no Bro, when 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 they even got married was the worst, bro. Why the tablets were insane. It's not okay to do that, but like, but they don't get sanctioned. But, nothing. But honestly, no. Like, British people have come up with so many crazy ass words for like just insulting people. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even know why they are allowed. To I'm do trying that. to give like, bro. Yeah, is 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 the They're freedom that to do it, but like they have freedom of expression or whatever. They have freedom of the actual freedom say, of speech. Say, they have actual freedom Ooh. of speech. So you just say whatever like it's you not, feel like yeah fuck you like <laughs> they yeah. have the actual freedom they of have, speech. Like they are thing like they got like li- like they were literally going after like saying racist stuff like that's mega like really racist stuff for somebody that like eh, okay so they will say extremely racist stuff but they will use English that will not be fully racist. Right, so they will yeah. call her. But they, know they will call her a monkey, but they will call her something just odd. I forgot to say, I saw something where some something African. I'm like, bro. You will not highlight that African. Yes, no. Bro. Mm-hmm. Yes, no. Like that's why I was like, you put on like even Ghanaians, like Ghanaians don't know how to. Ghanaians have a really good heart. Nigerians, bro, I think. Yeah. So here's the thing, they right? So, they are so good-hearted. But I think South Africans are, they can be mean. South Africans can't be mean. They are mean. Bro, this babe just came out and said, oh, I'm going to run this, this, that. Bro, did you see the tablets? From what they from what they did when she got Like, literally, you could literally be a modern person and be like, if I was the girl, like, somebody could literally just come out and be like, a South African can just come out and say, if I was the lady, I would step down and try and clear up my family. And they would just come out and say, you are trying to let the criminals go, eh? Didn't they, they go in on Tyler? Hey, when Tyler yo, was supporting, hey, hey, hey. like, it's just, girl. bro. But like at the end of the day, Nigerians, I think we we, we just like cruise. Anything that is cruise, once the cruise dies down, we'll move on. And it's such a bad way to live. As, we'll as, move as, on. A, as an adult, as a human being, you need to learn uh, I, I don't, how to hold a fucking grudge. I don't understand. <laughs> no, 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 that's what you should learn not to do as an should, adult. No, I, I, because I, it will eat you I up. Think, I, I, think, I think it's good it's for balance. Up. Like, for, yeah? I think it will literally balance. just ra- randomly like, eat like, you up. Because the truth is, at the end, my grudge is my only grudge. Is, uh, APC has stolen all the youths of my life. So, to tomorrow, like nothing is letting that growth go out of my hand. I'm sorry. So, like it doesn't have me that is it. It's not eating me up alive. It's actually <laughs> no. It's actually eating me up alive because honestly, like, see, bro, like I was talking to somebody that she was, she was like, oh yeah, I was really happy about this promotion. Da, 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 da. Oh, my salary is going to be this amount, and she was like, ah, but it just means that. <laughs> I'm um, here yeah, like, bro, when we're in uni, the people will tell us that ah, I want 20k. So I want 20k. Oh, oh you the ball. I swear. Oh, that's a thousand, you the ball. You, you can save up to buy a Camry. Please, you know, give your PA 120,000. Uma, Uma, ship me for me. Uma, the person will cost me. The will cost me. I don't me. understand. You can't employ someone. We want 20k. Nowadays. Your, 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 
Like working, no, I'm not saying you can't, know? but like I just my thing is more okay. like like the value of money now. Is even yeah, it's so low. No, the truth, the way you look at it, change one one twenty k to dollars. That we can't even do that. That one is. Then you realize the actual value. But of I don't it. think that's how we should roll. Yeah, no, 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 no. But like that's how you realize the actual value of it because then that's if for, for anything the dollars are quote and unquote a universal currency right now because well, we don't spend dollars in nigeria we don't spend dollars in nigeria but when you want to engage in like fx trading and everything outside of like nigeria right everything is valued in dollars then valued to the to the country's um um currency right I get so that. even when you are looking at some let's say so for example we sell crude oil in nigeria the value of crude oil is 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 in it's dollars yeah. because we are selling it outside of nigeria yeah. right so when you actually want to see the global value of anything it, right now it has to be in dollars so if you change it to dollars right 120k is what hmm. is less than 100 dollars a month Jeez. The truth is, I wanted to say it's a lot of money, but it's not. You can't not really money. live on that it's not anymore. It's a lot of money, actually. It's not a lot of you really, money. You can't even rent a, an apartment. On 120k? You can't do anything on 120k a month. Then it's what do you think? Oh, I was just going to say that, like, so, um, the same thing we did last year when we floated in era. Ethiopia is in right now, and our currency has lost 90% of its value. Who? Ethiopia. And they did that, was it three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. They floated their 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 currency. currency. Like, they they floated the exchange. The exchange was usually pegged, although, like, black market was doing its thing. Mm -hmm. But now that, like, they floated it, it has to find its actual value. So, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the economics, but, like, the description or the definition of that, I think it's depreciated. No, I'm trying to, I'll check for the name or something. Mm -hmm. Um, The idea is simple. You produce what you can. And import the rest. Yeah. Many African countries are importing a lot and are producing producing very little. So in the case of Nigeria now, for example, we're just importing everything. Everything to speak. We're importing everything. We're importing Turkey. Mm, Bruh. Okay, forget Turkey. To speak. We can't produce to speak. Now, we're saying the same thing. Now, like, we're importing uh, books now. So, like, like, when I mean books, like, notebooks. Yes, now we've always been because you that. see all those Macmillan no, printing necessary. press. We're not all those I mean, like when I, when I started, like in okay, so are you saying that when we went that to time, uh, printing? those we are our, printing presses, we had printing, printing presses, presses yeah. yeah. True, I remember printing those printing are now. those books. You, if you even check the back, you'll see yeah, it was made in Kedja or something, in or something. Yeah. 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 I remember actually, those places don't work anymore. It's not because like it's just. Production now in Nigeria is even more expensive than than important. Than important. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that our countries our con- like as much as we're all up here, everything is all good. The parts of our country where production would have been like really ideal is not secure. Hmm. It's not secure. Like Nigeria, the pathway for Nigeria's prosperity is very, very simple. Security. Like it's not hard. Secure where people can farm. People are coming to uh, to urban areas that are okay with their farms, but they are coming because of safety. It's not because they want to come and live in Lagos. Yeah, well, it's cheaper. If they are, if where they are is comfortable for them, they are going to stay there. Yes, they are going to stay there if it's if it's security because you can't stay there and they will kidnap you and your family and do not be asking for how much ransom. Yeah, and mm. they kill you and stuff like that. So that's why people are leaving. Yeah. If you secure those places, figure out the electricity, bro. Like there's not like people ideas will come and people can pull them off. But right now, like, we, we're not producing that much and we're importing a lot of things. And it's just our major exports, the value of it is not... Because as much as I want to... Uh, when we're like, ah, dollar went to 1.9, it came down. Why is why are prices not coming down? Because the value of your currency is still the value of your currency. It's still the value of your that currency. That nominal thing, obviously, is an indicator, but it's still the value of your currency. And the fact that... Let's not even go too deep into it. Because that, that, this thing pisses me off. This is me off so much that it's like, okay, we don't have money. Then you go and tell the CBN to print more money and reduce the value of what of the money that we already have. <laughs> Do you know how insane 
that as a solution and I'm like, seems who to me. This thing? Even as someone who's not an economic student, that it sounds weird. Like, how is that what a solution? We don't have money. Okay, go and print more money. So the money that we base the what we base our money against just depreciates. You know the wildest part? <laughs> spending money to print that money. <laughs> and somebody's getting the deal. You're gonna pay somebody to print the money, right? Yes, now. So and they will going to print them in box. So if they are printing, maybe, and they're paying that person in FX, so yeah, yeah exactly, way. yeah, because they are printing money in Nigeria, in Nigeria now. They are putting your, they are putting your naira too. They're paying that person in FX. <laughs> Nigeria is a, a Nigeria See if we start to enter Nigeria's problem on this, <laughs> on this podcast. The, I, uh, the the problems are a lot, but like I feel like the solutions are not because so it's like when the protests were happening and they were like somebody were like oh yeah like we need more specific and I'm like the problem is that we're in the macroeconomic like very very deep because you implemented three things that changed people's lives. You floated in Naira. Naira. You removed. You removed subsidies, you removed removed subsidies subsidy. from petrol. And increase electricity tariffs. Everybody knows that your economy is based on how well you can move around. So automatically, if oil is increasing, cost of living goes up. Yep. Um, that same fuel is what powers a lot of people's houses. The small that they can use to buy units, to like the, house, the less I even managed to give them, more, the small that they can use to buy units, if increased that value again, that's true. Then you devalue their money because your main exports is not performing as well as you think because all of these things is like it's not it's not that it's not performing as well it's just so the thing is it's just a slippery slope because we're spending so much money to subsidize um uh, the naira no, to, four, peg four, four, four. It, to peg it oh, to peg the dollar yeah, yeah. and we're spending so much money to subsidize subsidize, subsidize the um yeah. if you so as of as of the time they floated in naira the sorry they removed subsidy landing price of petrol was about 800 900 like it lands at the port at 800 900 and then we're, we're buying it at what one one seventy one eighty where is the, the, is the rest going it's somebody that's paying for it yeah so we've spent so much of our money to, subsid- to subsidize but, yeah. so it's just really a slippery slope it is because at the end of the day when, when you now look at how much is spent to subsidize the Cost of the fuel. Do you know what would have happened, right? If if they had privatized um, um, the what these the refineries in like Obasanjo's just time, we won't be in this deep hole. Those refineries are, not, are they even working? Yeah. Bro, I, did you, did you see the Obasanjo interview? Yeah. Baba said he called people. He said, those people, he said, come, come and buy this refinery. They said, they know that the refineries are gone. That they should sell it for scrap. Do you know how bad that was? And do you know that I, I also heard that some of these refineries, despite the fact that they're not doing much when it comes to production, people are still earning salaries. Yeah, because actually, they're actually working in some capacity. So actually, your refineries actually work, but like, they don't work. <laughs> it's a Nigerian conundrum. So, it, like, it is, like, like Lulu said now, you are subsidizing for, right? If you're subsidizing for, if you want to take that off, it's about, it's not just, it's, you have to explain that intent and execute it well. That's what they didn't do. You just came, yeah, and, you said, just came and subsidies removed. over. Yeah. Now you have to explain the intent. Not to explain if you explain the intent that, okay, we are going to save, you are going to use this money for this. That's now where the problem is. because Explain that. Secondly, when you're executing it, the next thing is you're thinking, okay, since we've raised the price of this, let's figure out how to raise purchasing power of the people exactly you didn't do any of those you didn't things. do any of those things and like like a lot, because i cover a lot of pan-african things like my frame of record so um kenya now people came out to protest because of a finance bill i tried to i tried to introduce now you're trying to introduce another finance bill meanwhile the what they are saying is one more accountability you want to raise taxes you want tax to be 20 percent of your gdp there's no way meanwhile taxes are going what for. the taxes that we are paying 14 percent we'll see our politicians driving flashy cars they are collecting big salaries meanwhile and it's the same thing in nigeria that's yeah. why i that's why anybody that says africa is a country i don't argue with them because our leaders are literally learning from each other yeah <laughs> that's what they are doing like the nigerian leader that does this and that is learning from the Kenya one, and the Kenya one is learning from the Uganda one. Like that, they all learn, they all do the same thing. So it's a, it's a revolving door. Of this. That's why, if you notice, whenever protests happen and are discussing the same thing, you can easily just draw parallels. 
like it's so it's so it's so 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 easy so like now i have i have a i have a theory yeah i have a theory i have a theory my theory is that we are so close to the sun so and i'm you think his jokes right but deep it yeah, we have to be so <laughs> the more the more fried our brains are. The more fried our brains are. I don't even think. I, don't think I, I swear, I think we are too close to the sun. I don't, actually, do you know that I don't think it's in. I know that when people talk about. I, di- Niger- I think melanin has as 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 a bad effect. When people talk about Nigeria, oh they're always very quick to say <laughs> I, that. No, no, I love the melanin, right? I love my black skin, but I, I think. There's a there's a bad part to the melanin. We need to actually take it, melanin as I a don't as an think entity and show it and check it. No, no, no. I'm not saying Nigeria. I said all of us that are on the equator, mm. from Nigeria, Ghana, oh. all of us on the equator. It's, a, it's, a, it's an African problem. All of us on the because the farther you go from the equator, the more science people have. I have a very long way to It's funny, but you know, actually deep it. Have you actually dipped it before? The further you go from the equator, the more sense people have. No, no. But I, 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 I think that as Africans, we do have a problem. That entire South African Nigerian thing really exposed me to the level of hatred that we have for one another as, as Africans. Because why, as an South African, are you so mad about the girl that was con- the Nigerian, seemingly Nigerian girl that was contesting all that, you know, doubting her, how much of a South African she is, despite the fact that the girl said she grew up in South Africa, she was, you know, and all of that. I'm like, and the South Africans took it upon themselves to go all the way, so much that the girl had to drop out. And I'm looking at, even when I saw the conversation on social media, I would go on certain people's profile, and I would click on it, and I was like, this is an actually black person. Like, why are you so mad that a Nigerian or some of the Nigerian roots is contesting in South Africa. Like, why? Aren't you all supposed to be Africans? Uh, oh. it's, it's such a wild thing. Like, I didn't even understand that the hatred that South Africans or like Africans have towards each other is even that deep, deep enough for you to, to ask for that. Sh- if shout you out, ask out, uh, me, it's ridiculous. Now, who I go it's ask? Really ridiculous. Shout out, shout out King Leopold. <laughs> but did you guys see that tweet that Victor put out where he said that Nigeria is not the giant of Africa? I think that Nigeria is not the giant of Africa. Nigerians are. Nigeria is not the giant Actually, of Africa. Actually, yes and no. Because Nigerian, sometimes when I dip it right, because me, I, I say it all the time. Like we are just as bad as <laughs> Yeah. The politicians are just, they are really just a reflection of the people. It's, if you take somebody off the streets, a random person off the streets, and put that person in power, the person will do just as much or even worse. Than the guys in power already. I, I mean, not to sound, not to go all biblical or whatever. I think it's spiritual. Cause honestly, I keep saying it. Everything that is happening, and not, I'm not playing the colonizing card because I feel like it's been 16 years. Let's go. Like, but but they keep saying wait but, before you move, Dennis. Before you move from that, but there's always also a conversation when we say that we're not playing the colonialism card. We've, it's been how many years? Can we move on? The, sometimes people argue that the effects or the effect of what the white people did to Africans or Nigeria when we were colonized by them is still affecting us yes, now. No, no, so, yes. Facts. But why, why are you not it's saying facts. that? Yeah, no, when but I, like, when you, I mean, you say work, but like, because, see, look at it. The US was also colonized by yeah, the British. It was. But if we're saying that the effect is still here, how can we now say fuck colonialism and it's, a, it's an activity? Yeah, because obviously there's only so much you can control. So if you keep letting, like, obviously, so if you're a leader now, because it's it all, it all it takes to one good leader. If if one good leader at the at the highest height shows that okay, I don't think it's, it's one good leader. No, obviously it's not just one good leader, but at the very least, one leader creates hope. I agree. I creates another path. path. We had because we had one good leader they, in like Lagos. You said, After the leader left, everybody we went back to status quo. Bro, as the, please let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> is, it, is it leader that found camera? No, obviously, at the end of the day. Is it the one that found camera? No, see, look, at the end of the camera, day. But it's not like he walked as... At the end of the I'm day, you still have to work, be a passing man. Because the man yeah, that was not a passing man, you saw what's happening. I really wish he never found that camera. See, see, let me tell you, there's this thing. That, it was never a passing um, man. That demystification was too bad. Nah. <laughs> he shouldn't have. Shout like, out to him, Shah. Yeah. But like, I, my thing is, if, if if there's one really successful one that sticks by it, people can be like, okay, you know, I can do this. And like 
there's, an, there's an alternative path. path. You understand? Like everything we're doing, like even sometimes you read, like I've not, I've, I've sat down before just to read parts of the position. And I'm like, some of this language is just. It's just cool. Like, why am I reading stuff that I be hearing in the make out to da, da 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 da? I'm like, bro, like, what is all this language? This is like, we're Nigerians, write your constitution. Like, I understand that it has to be thorough and detailed and everything so that there's no gaps or there's no whatever. But there's a reason why we're Nigerians. If you're writing, like, 1999 constitution, imagine having a constitution that if you put in front of somebody, you'll just slip off. Like, what is this? And I'm sure that's constitution for many countries, but at the very least, like, over time, it becomes a thing. Because imagine these people bringing an anthem back from that the white woman wrote. Do you understand? And you're telling me that we're not dealing with... Like, we're still under the same structure. Like, till tomorrow, like, there's a reason why they moved back to Aso Rock. Like, your capital was in Lagos now. Then after the coup attempt, but when I was already building Aso Rock, I was like, okay, I'm leaving. Because the coup attempt happened in Lagos. And it's like, yeah, Lagos is too accessible. The white people that were in the north, the British people in the north, they were not living with commoners now. And they actually picked that up from the local traditions because in the north, your traditional ruler is like ultimate. If he says this thing is wrong, you know it's right, but like you just follow him and say it's wrong. He only fool rebel against that, and they they pick that. That's why when the whole about women's revolt was happening, all of that. That's why you see they use the um, traditional rulers as templates for what they are doing. Then from there they will evolve it and, and use it as their own style. So over time. That's why it's very, very Nigerian leaders are not accessible. They know. Unlike other countries where you can say, oh, my senator was my representative was riding, riding the tube or was on the train. Where do you say Nigeria? Where do you see that? That's not possible now. But I'm in train again. Anyway, no, <laughs> sometimes no, when, I, part of it when I pass when I like pass through horrible roads, things as easy as roads, I, the first thing that comes to my mind is if these people actually use these roads as frequently as the regular people they would understand what people are saying because sometimes it feels like they're so out of touch even in the conversations that they have the kind of things that they say i'm like do you think is this person living in nigeria are you aware because sometimes they'll be arguing with you and be saying we're working they just or when i say all this they say the government just paid 20 something million people 20 something non-workers salary i'm like have you spoken to a regular man on the street to know if how do, like, don't you know that people are not getting this money? Sometimes I also think that when this president, when the president, when they hire people and say, okay, this is minister of this, this is minister of that, I don't think that the president can come from wherever it is that he is to come and ask the regular man on the street whether you got 5,000 naira that I, dis- I sent out to all the regular people. So sometimes it's just beyond having bad, like the person in charge not being a good president or whatever. Sometimes the ministers, the people, the governors, those people too, they don't they literally do not do anything and because of us people we're always saying oh the president the president those ones just go they just fall under the radar nobody's worried of wondering what they're doing because this electricity thing we should be asking the minister why he felt the need to do that like why did you i do I, that? I i think as much as i want as much as i agree with that because obviously, obviously like um when i was like when i was really young i grew up in alimbosha area and yeah. uh, the chairman of alimbosha government was living in lekki I was living lucky, so boy, like, but yeah, we can we can discuss all of that. Large. My, but my thing, my thing is, <laughs> like, imagine that. Yes, that, but my. It just they come. It, it yeah, really comes to like, the like, kind of, this like, like twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> just quickly, this little little check-ins. And I, I was <laughs> really, really, kind of laws that we need in Nigeria, where you say that the chairman of the local government must live in his. Local uh, but government. with melody, melody, your president, where is he right now? Oh. Where is your, your president? I'm talking, where is he? No, 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 no. I'm not saying, I don't say I don't anything, no. In the corner cruise. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm about, you say he's going to go and he yeah, say stay, 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 back, stay more work or something. Lo mama, lo <laughs> she understand. So, like, how do you enforce that kind of thing when, like, you're, like, see, let me tell you, is as much as you want to hold those little places accountable, which is really, really, a really how good will. That's, that's how it should be, ideally. But the thing is, everybody knows that in Nigeria right now, if the change is going to happen, it's top down. It's not bottom up. Yep. It's top down. Because who created first subsidy? Uh, who removed self first subsidy? It's from up there now. Who uh, floated Naira? It's from up there. All those macroeconomic things are floating now. And then when they realize that, ah, this thing, she be wants to favor us, Abi. Be safe as they come now. We say go. We uh, chop around. Ch- ah, no matter. So basically, you're highlighting that you think that. It's literally from top. 
the bottom. Yep. That's the thing. Like, That's so for example, is. now, like, the, your president is your representative of the country. Your re- president is who you see as. So, um, like I said, the constitution makes like the constitution like it makes the president like a deity. But at the same time, there was a time Buhari was president and he was like, "Are you putting the president has that much power?" He knows what he was saying. Why well, your power is House of Reps and Senate? But the thing is that they lobby to the point where they use those things as tools mm-hmm. rather than as as because there's supposed to be separate arms. So you don't just tell. Like um, this CGN thing that you were telling me about, yeah. they appointed the CGN, and there's a whole thing about whether they screened her or they did not screen her. I don't know, Melody. Maybe you want to give that backstory. Yeah. So the <laughs> one thing that mo- mo- first and foremost, it must really be a difficult thing for your JD to just be a social media fighter for politicians. Eh? Oh, oh, What? What does that? Mm. What does that mean? You uh, know, uh, you know the money. money that they are making. Like, you know, the money that you're making. The narratives that they bring up every day. I'm like, do you, don't you, are you thinking? Did you apply? You just say, artists they pay. No worry. Okay, so let me. So something was trending on social media. So Tinubu swore in Kekere Ekun as new CJN, right? And um, she's the 23rd Chief Justice of Nigeria. And um, they saw her in. But then I saw that I was acting Chief Justice, right? Is it just me? No, I think they saw her in as the CJN actually. I think maybe she was acting before. Okay. I think they saw her in as the yeah as the CJN now, and the conversation on social media were different conversations. One that was very loud. People were upset that her son, who is an obedient, was at the swearing in and was smiling. And you know, being was happy. I saw a, a video that had him in the frame of when they, you know, she was being sworn in. I feel like, why didn't the son refuse to attend? Why didn't the son tell the mother not to accept the appointment and say, oh, since Tinubu is the president, and he has also been very critical of Tinubu as a president in the past. So people are like, and her son is quite popular on social media, and he has some similarly right. large following. Yeah, and he's a funny guy. He's like all these social media comedian kind of peep, peeps, and. Um, he has been critical of the of the government in the past. People like so since he was so critical of Tinubu, he's a supporter of Tinubu. His mother should have turned down the CGN appointment. And I'm like, was there any critical thinking in the house when you were saying all this? They were running threads, talking, da da da. And I'm like, first and foremost, she was supposed to be the CGN. She was going to be regardless of who the president. Is. Right. So for someone that has dedicated her life for putting so, so much, I don't know her as a person, but for her to get to that level, she has put in so much years of work into the system. Now, at this point, where she's supposed to be made decisions, she turn it down. No, no, because even if you're going to make any change, you're not going to make any change she's standing on the sidelines saying, oh, this thing should have been done this way or this thing should have been done this way. Whatever change she's going to make, as little as it's going to be, even while she's in, like, Tinubu's cabinet or whatnot, if she's going to make any change whatsoever, she still has to take the job she's at, not at first. Cabinet. She's the she's 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 CJ. She's exactly. Not for she's not working for Tinubu, you know, yeah. so it's like whatever change she can make, right? She's going to make it from being in there and making that ch- those changes and making those laws and making the things that need to be, and changing things that need to be changed, right? For the betterment of people. Because at the end of the day, as much as we want to say, oh, Tinubu, Tinubu, this, Tinubu, that. But if we get our people in there, at the end of the day, and, and, and small, I small is, is like... I don't, I don't li- think it's an our people thing. Little I think drops. it's more like, you know how long your mother has been doing all of this. And you're just happy for her. It doesn't mean... Bro, I, I don't know if you guys have seen the video or something of someone who's shaking people. And this guy's looking at someone who like... Like, it was literally looking at him like... Bro, no near me. I feel like when they gave Penny her, what was that story they gave her now? Mm, a medal of something. And she was receiving it. Let me find out. And people were like, she didn't smile. They were now saying that when she went to receive it, as opposed to receiving the medal, if she's very critical of the president, she shouldn't have gone out to receive it. I'm like, huh? Come oh, on, you go receive her, now your medal, now your medal, now your honor, oh, call your honor. Forget that there are different ways when it comes to like protesting against the, the system or taking a stand against the system. There are different ways to do it. You don't have I, to do it today. Oh, I don't watch it. You can. What she did was a statement and was loud enough. See, look, like, she feel even collect and tomorrow still come protest. <laughs> and that's on period. Do you understand? Yeah. So why were you saying that she shouldn't have collected her? I'm, like, I'm not that? saying that everybody has to be as radical. Like I get when radical people are like that. Yeah. Nigeria has shown that even if you are slightly order. moderate, 
like slightly moderate. You're yeah. radical, but member of the order of, of Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, that's like a double O N. Oh, Tenny. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. That's nice. People are like, oh, why did she go and collect it? That she, she does not. Maybe she, that the way she ends. May everybody calm down. That's not how this <laughs> thing works. And also on on this CGN situation, the CGN situation, I think it's ridiculous because first and foremost, even as children, how many things do we agree with our parents on? Oh yeah. But it doesn't mean that I want to raise my bomb now. Come on. I, I did. I pin hundred percent. Whatever. I agree with a lot of the things. That some of the things that my parents I, agree with. So, Socially, politically, religiously, culturally. We I think views. again, there's this whole record, not a recording, but like people are, people are looking at like privilege in a very, very different light these days. Mm-hmm. So if you have like a level of privilege, you look at you as like, okay, you maybe your activism is not real. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe this is who you are. So like, it's not even just your activism; it's just who you are as like a thing. Like I don't know if you guys saw the Dima for me conversation. Yeah, I saw. It was like a whole thing, and I'm like, fair enough. But the same, my problem was people we that were like jumping to like take firing squad bullets like bro my dad is a senator what do you want me to do so what was, what was your position on that oh my position is that she did not so i don't know i think what started was she had a wedding or something yeah she and got married was, and people was, like, now saw really how lavish, flamboyant lavish and flamboyant so you're not came out and said that. that oh it's not youtube money no 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 so somebody so somebody was talking that people were like ah like this is such an expensive looking wedding and stuff so i think that one guy now said that her father is a politician. One girl innocently now said that ah, that when she saw the video of the wedding, she was not wondering that. When she, when she saw the attendance and the, and the attendees who that attended, that when she saw so well, she was wondering that ah, does someone to watch her YouTube video? That, ah, <laughs> <laughs> that she, said, she was wondering that. I was looking for that. God, I cackled, and it was so it was so honest. Yes, so she, let me read that for you. She said, when I saw so well, I was like, does he also watch YouTube? And I saw Peter Obi's post about who her father was yesterday, and I was like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> nah, oh like, no. There's someone who coming from watching her videos on how to be a, a day in the life. But I think that the people were genuinely surprised because that also goes to show that she has been able to build something of, um, for but herself, for herself outside, of her outside of her family. Like, but it's also not honest to say that that didn't probably play a role in oh, maybe the aesthetics of the ah. video or some of the things she's able to show off in the people that were thinking that ah ah the aesthetics oh, inspiration is <laughs> you know that what's that inspiration is like five million naira is is, we, is is why they say all this instagram thing if people no, should they, take you with a grain of yeah, sometimes when i'm talking to people and i'm like oh so how do you do this like sometimes i'm talking to like filmmakers and i want to know exactly because because filmmaking is a really big like capital thing. intensive like it's very very capital, capital intensive. intensive you need money you need time yeah so like for you to do that like are you juggling that with like having a job and stuff i know they'll be talking is like i'm like oh fair enough like mm. <laughs> it's like bolani or stipitas like I'm, i've never interviewed bolani or stipitas but i just feel like if i ever do like i want to ask questions and stuff like that but like obviously like you come from some old money so it allows you to feed that passion to do it like i know people that are trying to like do filmmaking but like they are doing the 95 grand you don't have an option she gets i'm to and i'm not saying to do yeah that's why I, I always say that like that so when they are doing all these creative things or like music industry guys this da 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 the reason one of the reasons why people don't see me and stuff like that is because like men are not money <laughs> but i did not give me money that say ah take a bar etm that's your expense account me, that, I, that's, that's 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 Find your way. I don't know if I find my way already. It's more small. No, you even reach your way. See, me ah. after university, like, I just it look me to say, "Oh, more." Find your way. You? It's not when, and then is there's a reason why when people not ask you or me that kind of question. Like you just sort of, you, it's easy to be honest because like you can't tell them that oh you got this head start by doing this. You understand? Yeah. So like, and I'm not saying that Dima should have come out and say, "Oh, but man, he's a senator." And the truth is, at the end of the day, I don't think she have said that. My thing is more for people that just want to immediately Aspire. see. Like, you see something you're really aspiring to. And like, you're not thinking that, okay, maybe what this person had, had the head start or maybe this person... Or maybe the really person well. started from a like, different part. Okay, so for example, like, show them camp, for example. Like, they, they both had, like, well-to-do parents that, like, were able to send them abroad for school and stuff. They both had, like, really good jobs. They came back to Nigeria. They could use that on to cushion. They got, to, they got into hard times and stuff like that. But, like, there's a, there's a reason why, if you think about it, if you really think about it, many of the creatives or like guys that are blowing up are guys that like 
have like a cushion many of them there's always like it's really hard to find an in between like superstar if you think about it like the middle class slash lower middle class that like bro if your papa and mama are civil servants and i tell you that you're going to studio whoa <laughs> we, have, we, have of, <laughs> we have a lot of artists that um we have more maybe not, maybe you. not more i, can, I, can, I can't say so more yeah, so artists is even creative i'm okay, talking creative, about okay, cool. it creatives in terms of like is is like All they are them. coming from like the ground Nothing, up yeah. so it's like you're going for broke or you're going for like rich as far like like you're going for broke from like okay oh, this is my only option i'm dropping out of school for this people because like at this point they don't even get money to send me to school and they are the ones that like you, are, you go to school and like everything everything is soft and you come back and like mm-hmm. you can decide okay they're not asking you what you want to do with your life you that your parents have spent money to pay school fees is remaining for this guy and bringing first salary that they used to buy uh actually a bit of a visit thanksgiving Abby. but also I'm, I'm i'm of the opinion that people that come from like wealth or like privilege should not be quote unquote quote castigated or looked down oh upon, definitely but, not i'm that's what i'm not saying no no, no i'm, I'm just, just saying I'm, I'm, let's not let's not start off let's, let's, start, let's not let's not start um um, um what's the word you're about a lot of virtue on them like oh yeah. this person I that is doing really well for themselves that, 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 that. like that's what i'm saying like if you're rich like bro have fun like i, you, I do have everybody wants you're about to... that said oh do you know what they said right yeah. because at the end of the day the the fingers are not equal yeah somebody starts from 50 and goes to 100 somebody starts from 50 and goes to 70. There are people that st- start from 50 and take it back to zero, you know? Yeah. And at the end of the day, and then it's people like us that start from zero and take it to 100, whatever it is, at the end of the day, everybody's working. And that's why for people like Copy, people like David o, I can never not respect that also. Because but, at the end of the day, privilege and all these things, the more often are not just provide you with access. A safety basket also. A safety basket and food. access to be able to, but Fail. like, Feel try different things, try different things, Be and not successful at different things. You know that if you're not successful, you're not going to go home. You are not going to go on another hungry. level of confidence that, that gives you, yeah. You but at the end of the day, you still more often than not still have to grind. You have to grind, you still have to grind for, and then you have to decide what you're grinding for. Now, at that point, you're not grinding for quote and unquote to not be hungry mm-hmm. you, what you're grinding for is maybe legacy what you're grinding for is maybe success at or a your level own money do you understand what you're grinding for is probably freedom, freedom. Usually. you know so you're grinding for different things outside of just food money food money but i think that having to grind for food money is the lowest of lows though. it's the lowest of lows now it's what because it is it's different when you know that if you do not make because there are people another thing that another people find themselves in places where they are not happy they are doing things where they are not but you have to do it because at the end of the day if you don't do it whoa that particular conversation around the demand her father being a politician also brought it it, it opened different traumas in young people because a lot of people now started talking about yes i need to hold that thought okay we'll come back to this conversation but we're going on a break don't forget that anything that you've missed out you can catch it on the pod when it drops on monday across all streaming platforms we are still going to be talking here but we're going on a break on tv but you can continue the conversation with us on monday when the pod drops yes now what i was trying to say also is that this conversation now brought up a lot of traumatized young people that are not sharing their stories of being at jobs that they do not like because they have to there's no there's no safety basket someone else said that that as a person that there's one of our colleagues at work that they were going through like similar boss like toxic workplace and one day the kid just woke up and said i'm not coming again Ah, uh, fuck. Right. Said, the girl said, I'm not coming again. Like, I'm not doing this. And she just when she called the girl, like, I'm not coming anymore. She didn't even, she didn't even bother to resign or stuff like that. But she could not do that. Where are you going? How are you going to eat? So some people, the safety basket that having well-to-do parents gives us as, as gives like young people is very much underestimated. It's very, very underestimated. It's very, 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 but very, very underestimated. Work, but it's very, very yeah, underestimated. Yeah, yeah. Very, very I mean, underestimated. You hear of like kids that are like, oh, my daddy has paid my yeah, my rent for two years. Uh, daddy bought me a house. What did my parents oh. bought me a house? My dad bought me a car. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, is levels to it, right? Yep. Some of some people are. I think the, the lowest to it is hustling to chow, right? Chow. Then there's also, also to get freedom. Then there's also to gain things in your, by yourself. Yeah. Buy your, rent your first place, get your first house, um, rent your first apartment, start yeah. buying stuff. 
yeah furnish your apartment yeah. you know all the little little things yeah. you get to a point where okay you are settled on that side you now start buying maybe stock yep um 100k 200k you start doing other things with money that help you amass wealth okay maybe you start going into business okay you are saving more okay you know you now start maybe if you are in a job that you don't like, you're not start, you now, your, your, you do your own financial your, independence for yourself. Do you understand? You have to get to a point where, okay, before I go and do what I actually like, oh, let me build that cushion that I did not have for myself so that when I eventually go and do what I want to do, I can I have something to fall back on. You know, all these things are just different things and it's different strokes for different folks. But do you think that society is unnecessarily mean to like rich kids? I think so. I, I specifically think so. Because at the end, of, see, here's what and I also, think. And also, do you think it's okay to be to be mean to politician kids? No, people nah, are, nah. people were having a conversation saying that it is okay for them to call out politician kids because their parents I, are the ones destroying the country and so, you are benefiting off the, the the decay of the society. That why are you holding? Because people are trying to hold brief for them like, huh? She's not. Old, old the and people And they were like, you cannot hold brief for her because she's That's a politician's child. I think my thing is recognizing your 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 up. your what's the word? By your privilege. Your privilege. But I think that recognizing and realizing that, like, okay, there's a reason why you're in this position, and I think my, that's why I said the problem I had, or not a problem, the thing I had that was really funny, like it was really for like people that were jumping in line, being like, oh yeah, for me, what to do home, da da da. da. No, bro, like, I always have a problem with people that nobody asks, nobody asks you, bro. Can't say that somewhere, but <laughs> but yeah, like. She, there's a reason why she didn't come she didn't and be like, it. yeah, yep. she understand. Like she, if, she I, I feel like even if she wasn't a child of a senator, she was a child of like maybe an industrial billionaire or something. She probably she, won't say. She was, probably won't say. There's a reason why like people that are rich or some that are artists and stuff like that, they don't want to tell you that ah, my mommy is this person, my daddy is this person. There was there was a podcast, Nineties Baby podcast, where uh, Malik Berry was on, and I was talking about meeting David O, and. Who? Malik Berry. Malik Berry, okay. Because apparently he met Davido before he met Wiz, right? Mm-hmm. And he said when he met Davido, Davido was hustling like one of them. He yeah. didn't understand why Davido was hustling that way, right? And then he came to Nigeria and then he saw Davido's father's, it's not even house, streets. And he, Malik Berry said there's bread and there's bread. You understand? For a child like Davido to be hustling that way, you know that at this point, it's also for something different. At that point, it was not for freedom. Because if he did not also that way, he would probably be working in, as an engineer in some company that, and he would not be happy with himself. And when he could be doing the music that would bring him joy, mm-hmm. you know? So, <laughs> bruh, at the end of the day, you just have to, I think we that. Because, see, look, recognizing your privilege is what this is. I can specifically say I've never gotten to a point where my hustle was next child, right? Yeah, same. So if for anything, I've never gotten to that point where, oh, if I don't have a job, I will not see food to it. Maybe I will not, I will not do three meals a day. But, you can do one. But one, sure die, you know? So... At the end of the day, I never got to a point where, and that's us, right? Yeah. There's people that are not at that level. Yep. But then there's people that they pass that level. Their parents were able to get them past that level. Yep. And at the end of the day, you just have to rec- recognize that your privilege is your Different. privilege. Yeah. Everybody's privilege is different. So, and coming back to your point on like, um, um politicians' kids, man, face your you ups, man. To politicians face face the actual ups. Those ones, they, they do not. They did not, they did not choose to come to this life through a politician. They just came to this life. Now that's the life. We that's, don't choose who who the people that give birth to us. Exactly, actually. that's the hand that they were dealt. Yep. And they obviously had to. <laughs> they came. Because anytime something comes up, what do they say? Please don't take care of me. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, don't send me money. Don't send me money. <laughs> do you understand? Like, even if they are saying I want to make this on my own, for God's sake, everyone wants soft landing. Everybody wants parents that can, they can, that's why they don't want to build themselves. They also want support. Pretty guys so, on come back, oh. <laughs> no, go come back here. Eh. Oh, <laughs> maybe I fell. <laughs> the economy. So, I saw one big TikTok of, she was talking about how she moved back to her parents' house. And uh-huh. she was like, 
one year ago, I wore my big girl pants. I told my parents I wanted to go explore and live life on my own terms. I rented my apartment. But one year after, I have to move back because the economy is not smiling. Who does not want that kind of safety baskets? I know two people now that they just paid house and everything. I'm just there like... <laughs> Like, they are so upset. I'm not upset. I'm just laughing. <laughs> Bro, like, you are buying what? At how much? And I'm hearing prices and I'm like, ah, what's going on here? My TV that was 300k. First of all, that was really expensive when I bought it. Yeah. It's now about 600, 700k. No, buying things in, like, getting an apartment, buying things in the house those things are extremely extremely expensive and for, pe- so, for people that have parents that can afford it please better call um, anyone this is social media oh. no. everybody's posturing everybody's posturing if your father says they want to adopt somebody they will collect <laughs> but i also feel people that are upset about politicians i get the anger you know you and understand sometimes their the... children can sometimes be like oh well, that's your business go deal oh yeah, yeah, yeah there are some that come with that condescension no, but you, the ones go, you that go after don't, them like yeah and you know the funny part, the tweet that actually sparked the whole thing when the guy was like, ah, that he was watching that YouTube, and I realized that, ah, that, I think that tweet, like the really popular one that the guy just tweeted it and he said, oh, and I found out that that is a senator. The, final, the, the, final. the guy didn't see anything wrong. Yeah, People just like, everyone was twisted, yeah. twisted to an agenda because the guy literally just said, I was know? just thinking that, oh, oh this baby yeah. was, like, so, for example, now, like, it's a light I remember, bulb moment. Oh, do, you guys rem- do you remember when Tren- uh, Temps posted that picture and, like, trenches, something trenches? And people were like, well, girl. And, like, bro, like, girl, you had a studio monitor in your room before. Come on, stop <laughs> playing now. <laughs> you have studio monitor in your room, Temps. That's not trenches. <laughs> but you know, she trenches. You know, trenches. But trenches, yeah, to see trenches, trenches though. Yeah, yeah. It's objective, but. but there's trenches. But, but ah. there's, there's the objective trenches. Ah, come on. There's middle income household. Ah. And there's low. Maybe she go miss Creole. Make Creole tell her where trenches are. <laughs> <laughs> Me go. Welcome back. back. We are live on Pop Central Channel 189. And this is Zero Conditions Podcast. My is in the building. I'm having a conversation with Dennis and Lulu. Tolan is not here. For this episode and we've been talking about different things if you miss anyone please don't forget that you can listen to it on monday when the pod drops at 8 a.m on whatever streaming platform that you listen to your pod on we're going to be there so you've missed out on a couple of conversations you might want to listen on monday and catch the drift but yeah we're talking about middle income low income politicians children whether they should be dragged or not and just recognizing your privilege and i think that a lot of successful young people that are from privileged homes they're sometimes too scared to say they're from privileged home everybody wants to be a grass to gray story so bad and it's not necessary like if my father were a politician i think i'll be here having a question with dennis and you mentioned the video what is it with the video first song <laughs> um, no no it's not that we do it when i was broke back when i was broke, broke you. <laughs> well, but, but to him was he broke or B was not broke? Let's not forget that he said he left his parents. Hello. I'm not. Uh, Let's see where they see uh, for Malik Berry floor because uh, saying they find. Ah, uh, stop now. Lulu, I'm not going to disagree with you or whether I was broke or not. That's not my thing. But is that trench? One minute just said that the rags, the grass to grace. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. The song that now blew him up. What did he do? My guy said, see, "You say I'm not broke, Abi." Oh, yeah. Do you understand? I'm like, it's about really not necessary. Yeah, Abina. It's really not. It's really not necessary. Abina. And shout out to us that I've never had to claim like change stories and just want to like buy yeah. into the emotional side of it. We don't need it. Because people are seeking to find out. Just mm. do your music. At the end of the day, everybody should just everybody should just enjoy their lives. Enjoy your life. Anyway, so ch- there's something going on in the world that that is that is turning my belly and I love it so much. What? There's so much feminine energy in the world right now. So there's Kamala Harris becoming the Oh Flag bearer. Flag bearer and Don't actually yeah. actually making Donald Trump spiral. Yeah. There is the female first female or is it second or first female second. CJN? Second. Second female CJN. And it's like there's so much stuff there like that. There's even on the bad side, this woman was it Singapore where there was where there was a there, there was a there was a protest and they were on the government's roof and then the prime minister prime minister had to run out of the country. Mm-hmm. Do you know that story? No, I haven't. I Even she, she was a woman. <laughs> so it's like there's so much feminine energy in the world right now and I love it. If you guys were in America, we would for Kamala Harris. With my full fucking chest right now. See, Likely. Here's, here's why I would vote, vote for Kamala Harris. So it would be, it would be one, right? I would, it would be... The ideals of the Democrats, I, I, 
I lean towards that more. Lean towards that a lot more. More. Generally. So I, I'm not saying she's been a great vice president or whatnot. I just lean towards like the ideals of and two. Um bruh. That guy is a. That guy is a. I'm, I'm going to miss him, Sha. Like sixty percent of my thing is just like, now nah, Donald Trump is just a lunatic. Just don't bring that. The remaining the many percent is just like, apart from like, okay, let me twenty percent like what you said. The other twenty percent is that I feel like Kamala has like added like so many aura points in the last two weeks. From she just has, she just has so before she used right. to be just really goofy, yeah. and now she just just has just, swagger. He just and it was cool. And I'm just like, oh. what, is it, what is it with us as young people? We are always we are always so mesmerized with all these our leaders that have swagger. No, it's that, sweet now. That have teeth. Because, because that's what them, like, place. Did you see? You know those the leaders, people that are around them. Did you see that picture of Peter Obi and his wife? Ah! Bro. You see that auntie? Bro. You see that auntie? So My funny. sister. <laughs> Mama. What did you do, you bro? Ah! <laughs> see this guy. His wife is so fine. You see this guy? My gosh. Please. Pl- Imagine you see that kind of, ah, please, that he. Is it, mm. <laughs> right, mm. so it's not so there was not the tweet of on Instagram where people were like, oh, um, if your wife was in the delivery room and your friend got shot, who are you, who are you going to go see? Right. The main answer because I don't know. With my. I don't know. What are you doing? Man is in the living room, wife and shite. <laughs> ah, brother, who shot you? <laughs> <laughs> you are okay. You, you know, the funniest part of it was um, Yum Yum tweeted, uh, there's so much, there's actually misogyny in this world, and women wanted capping. to enjoy it. He was capping, now. he was just trying to wrap them up. Bro. No, no, no. So here's the thing, right? People were actually saying that they would go and see their guys. People were saying that they were going to see their guys. The men were saying they were going to see their guys. Yeah. Over their wives. Over their wives. There are people that were saying Men hate women. I don't understand. That's like... No. Right? And that's... Yeah. And... Bro, it's just... Bro, first of all, the, there's I didn't a lot... see that. I, but I don't... I didn't... There's, I have limit on Twitter. So no there's, there's, there's one OT, right? There's a way that we've been OT. Not we've... We've... Because most more often than not, we've had to change our own OTs. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's your wife is not as important to you generally bro it's like there was not an instance that was trained that you say your wife is not your family member yeah it's just bro it's just it's just crazy right i can't believe that was the conversation even my babes have gone bro even i even if i just my babe <laughs> 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 even if i just my babe yeah. my guy I'm a, you don't get baby when we come with you you baby you said check, 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 check your back character, character. <laughs> check you your character <laughs> right so it's like like I it's like at the end of the day, man. That. It's just so the yum yum thing was very funny. It was just funny to see. So here's what I think about yum yum. I think is is a guy that realized that okay, we are not doing traditional again, have you? And it's like okay, let's not do traditional. In that sense, that oh, a lot of people in this in this Nigeria, they want traditional men. They don't just be traditional women. Oh yeah, in my fair la. <laughs> can we move on from this? Because I'm not going to spend my time talking about your meal and outreach content. Please. Actually, actually you know what I'm saying? It will now be enjoying them. It's actually very funny because it's genuinely outreach content. Because outreach content, not it's, of conversation is it's just, it's just, it's just irritating so to I, me. Because so, like with the whole, like I don't like talking about this because fair, like because somebody said something. They said no matter how liberal you are. There's some responsibilities that you just can't like share and call around from. Yeah. At the end you of the understand. day. At the end of the day. You see, even if you break it down to biology, it's just you are you just the biology. As <laughs> <chemistry, laughs> <as chemistry, laughs> <as chemistry, laughs> Man is just that. I've said this one million times. Eh? If babe say that this is the type of man I want. Find your type. I don't know the type of the man. Please. Did just they did they not go? Shut it like go my daddy. I don't, I don't know exactly. if it is age because I, I, I'm just like too bold. Find you don't even have to be you know, I don't know if anybody part, like Nigeria men are more. the most loved in this world. See, eh? ah, if if babe, I've, I've been I've seen many women that they will just see this girl, they just see that only potential kikiri. Oh my god, my dear, I can I will stay you there. But Nigeria the men will not reach there. 
to the potential. To the potential. Then I say, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now we go. Ah, baby. You're no not really my Don't come this weekend. Move on, Lauren. We can't let you. No, but actually, it's so true. Or you say you're in commercials, like you know, my spec. You're not really. Can you lose that? Can you try to be? You what? might. You know somebody um, is. Hey, maybe you get married to somebody, or you're with somebody in your trenches days. And maybe she's not the most fashionable person. Do you understand? Like. Then you not get to but your, they're you not get to your promised land that you have been trying to get. And I say mm. she's not my spec anymore. She's not. My, she's just like all the best you all. I said that like I, that's I, what, I, know, I, like, I don't all those outro. Like when it comes to like down. men, about, like my thing is that like, and I've, I think I read this somewhere about how men actually like have feelings for men. Yes, now like men are because the kind of um, no, because when when, when, when they actually oh, no, 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 pause, no, no, I'm, uh, pause. If you like, pause, if you like, pause, pause, I, I, pause, I, I, pause. I, 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 I get what Dennis is trying to say because you don't get pause. men actually pause. save they save they save they save their feelings for men in terms of in terms of you, you want to spend quality back. time with your guys, you want to watch football with your guys, you really guys with Yan with your guys. When that comes to your babes, you're expecting you're expecting that to be subservient to you. In the yes. sense that if I say go like this. Nah, that go. If you don't go like this, if you tell her, say, may she go like this now. May she pass and that rules go that same place where you say, may she go. I you want to vex. <laughs> How dare you pass? And that? It's, a, it's a very, very Nigerian. It's not just Nigerian, it's just a men. And you know the worst part? Bro, like, <laughs> you just be seeing guys like, it's, 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 I've, said, I've said this, I think I said this last year. Incel energy is everywhere right now. Yep. Incel energy, just be here. And uh, that's not to say. No, me, I think everybody decreased. That's why I would be. And like, exactly where I was going to. <laughs> everybody decreased. Exactly where I was going to. Because, because now, m- many guys will listen to me and just be like, ah, this guy is simping. And I'm like, bro, eh, like, that's, congrats that's to you. Pass. That's another part. It does not mean that. Does not mean that if a uh, babe should move mad, I will not say that. Ah, this is what like you say. Me, my own is. No, I've actually, I've, I've actually read. I think you and I read the same thing on that. Men have feelings for men. Thing. I've, I've I don't read it to puzzle. I puzzle. I'll look, I look for the. I'll, I'll, I'll look for the link and I'll find you. I'll send it I'll, to you. I'll, <laughs> I'll bring it to your house. I'll say, hey, I read. I'll treat just things that you make excuses for. Like you definitely need to have feelings for this person to believe this. Like, are you okay? I don't understand. How is your pregnant wife? How is, how is even a conversation? Like, get it's, a, not even a it's not the funny part. Not the funny know. part. You can actually still. It's in the same way, you can go and check. But it's but my wife. You don't understand. Family, wife. You go and check the person. Wife, new. Wife, like, me. Yeah, okay. You know, you the way me I will see things is your partner is the one, only one family member that you get to choose. Bro. You, like, you don't you don't choose your, your sister, your father, your uncle, your grandparents, your grandchild. You don't choose anybody. Right now, God just gave give you. Yo, if we even go by spirituality, right? God still give you your wife, but nobody say your you eyes close. Yourself. You lose your, hands. your eyes. They open as God they give you. Yeah. And you know say okay. and you know say God I for this this babe now. Not be this one where I want to. You look. You say ah, this one no bad. Oh. I collect them. Actually this I collect them. Ah. You might as well fucking love the person, you know. You might as well really, really love the person because. Would you be? See, look, your eyes were open. Your and eyes were open. When I even see these conversations, I'm like, did you have what kind of what? This was part debate on I, the I, bright I, Saturday right, morning for like four years now. I don't. I didn't. What's this outro content? Swipe. I just did it. No, me. So me now. The the funny right. part was that oh, you're on the back today. He, he switched me. Like, that. I, I, it was it was just very funny for him too. He actually is not just a realization because, like, I also he also now brought me to the there's misogyny and then there's there's I don't want to say anti feminism, right? Misogyny, like homophobia, is actual hate, right? Then there's people that don't under, just understand stuff, right? Like what I said, I think Yum Yum as a person is just oh, they say we are not doing traditional man. Okay, He's good. Just oh, we are not doing traditional w- woman. Okay, good. Over your uh, he he now, he now He's sees that, oh, so people are doing, you You want traditional man, agenda. but you don't want to be tra- traditional woman. Emma Fair, la. That, I think that is, that is OP. Right? No, but but I, I think that... He does, he does, does, does now me. You can, be a traditional, you can be a traditional man in that sense, I don't think... Like, I've said this thing before. Find your traditional people. I don't know. You can be a traditional man and it's still not traditional baby you end up with. Because at the end of the day, you understand the fact that being a traditional man does not mean that the woman has to be a traditional woman. 
Facts. And it also does not mean that you have to enforce your traditional whatever. That's what I'm saying. If you Facts. decide that, okay, I want to be the provider, I want to be the clinic okay. of this house, that's All fine. well and good. Mm-hmm. You get. Mm-hmm. That's now, for your pocket. Th- now. People now believe that one plus uh, one has to equal one in the same. Like, nope. if they say, it's like, if like you're arriving at, if they say, okay, three times three. If you are passing uh, three plus three plus three to get nine. But me, I've done multiplication. I'm actually three times three equals nine. Because your three plus, three, three, plus three plus three is, is stressful <laughs> for you. You now say, die or nine. I don't like it. But we've arrived at the same answer. But we've, hey, all, we've all arrived at the same answer. At the end of the day, hey, do you now. understand? So it's just, that's just the problem with all of us as a, as a people. Is we are not looking, we are really not just looking for the people that are for us. You are trying to force 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 a square inside the... You are trying to... In a round hole at the end of the day. Like, just find your... And this is the thing that... um, There are some things... So, I'm not going to lie to you. One is harder to find than the other, Sha. If that is what we are... One is harder to find than the other. But if you know that that is what you want, you might as well just fucking... And this thing that Dennis said, I don't don't think it's spoken about enough. The conversation where Dennis was saying that there he knows... Like when he said that Nigerian men are like really loved, and where he said the reference that he made, where he said that he knows a couple of women that, or he just knows women that, so long as the man is has some level of potential, they are going to like be good to you. But a lot of times, or sometimes, not say a lot of times because I don't have like evidence, but from the stories that we hear, sometimes when those men now reach their their promised land, you now begin to find fault in the woman's tummy. You now begin to say this, you now be, but they don't. They but don't you say didn't that like. Side. So they that's the thing. That they also the maybe story. do not like the person from no, the beginning. They, I, no, no, is that because they think of spec? Like, oh, she's not fly. She's not a bad. Is is the illusion of choice? It's exactly. The fucking illusion of. It's choice. illusion of choice because right now. Because now, right now, you, but you, you lose the not, point where you, you're not you feel like. Okay. Yeah. Social media is the bubble one. One, you can be date somebody now. Fucking bubble. Your babe, fine pieces. Yeah. You go up and snap. One of our one friend post one beep. You go, ah, be like this one. Your beep now your speckle, but you say this one are more my speckle. Now nah, specker. Nah, my specker. <laughs> What's <laughs> going on? Why, bro, like, like bro. I, that's what's costing because, I, I, like we said, obviously find your person, but like commitment is work. Commitment is work because, bro, find boys there outside, find babes there outside. If we get money there outside, if we don't get money there outside. She understand. That's why. And my thing is, there's no see. Like, get it to Nigerian women. Like, it's not a, like I get the stereotype because it's online. Like, women that will come and do videos and like blah blah blah. Ah, I love you. Where they open their uh, uh, purse or whatever. Yeah, uh, those pranks. Fair. Like they do stuff like that. Yeah. And if you know the, the babe, you don't have the money. Me like this. I've seen babe before. Like when I see broke. Ah, we meet for front. If we meet for front. Life because moves hard. You, because it's I was telling, but you know that no, it happens, right? No, it's, why not? It's a thing now, happen. like, okay. bro. You know there's some babes that you meet and you like. I don't even understand. If you will look and say, ah, this babe now VC money I guys get. <laughs> I said I saw one thread on Twitter where one boy showed his mother. She showed his sense. He shared his, a conversation with his mom, where he was telling his mom about a girl that he likes and like that he has. He like mom. I I just met this Nigerian girl. I think I'm going to date her and stuff like that. Mother was like, ah, okay, send me a. They had different conversation, but she now got to okay, send me a picture. The boy now sent the mother the picture. Do you know what mother said? Mother said, this girl must really love you. Cause I don't see anything that you have to offer this girl. <laughs> see, sometimes it's not even by anything you have to offer. It's just <laughs> money to even keep up. Last song. <laughs> Uh-uh. Me too, I zoomed so in on even the keep up. I was like, this mom is actually right because you know, I'm No, so sometimes it's, it's not even it's not the babe does not even need anything from you. But it's even you yourself. No, just to even keep yeah, up, no. to get to a point where because she's entering places that if let's say she's used to a lifestyle, maybe they go slow, she they go all these expensive restaurants. You want to call the carry and go here, yeah, lounge. Hello, yeah, yeah, Billy Key. What she wanna go do for the year? Squadron. You won't go carry your molomo, you carry on from where she did. You won't carry on go it's level like, way they below her. A molomo don't jaggy. Feel a molomo still there. That's why I feel like Nollywood ch- did a lot of things for people. That's King marrying the house. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you just walk out there, they send you a message. You can't reach for a more than about. You, you can't see, see the priest of Egbala. You, you can't see one fine boy carrying a ring room and just park. Ah, beauty, hop in my car. She, first of all, you know who first said they go kidnap you? <laughs> 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 
see. But, ah. but, that not, but that does not mean that we don't have people, we don't have those scenarios. Though. Melody. Like very, very how many? Melody. How many are Melody. Are tree, Melody. Or you, a very rich one that might. I will create. This is my side project. That I will go. I will go and create side project. I will create the deck. Everything. I will be interviewing couples up and down. Please tell me where you met. Whoa. By the time I interview one thousand couples, ah, in the uh-huh. last two years. No, if we do the last two three years, like I say, uh, I forgot who tweeted the thing. I was like a really popular tweet or something. It was like now I understand patience was all cool. When you go, go bring boy. Mama God looks. I just want to get money, please. Take him outside. <laughs> outside. <laughs> I'm not advocating that babes should only date rich people rich men. or people that have money. Mm-hmm. Obviously, people are not even doing that. Like, they're, they're not even like, doing that. Even our parents, didn't, our mother didn't even do that. Yeah, like, how we just do this dead as well. No, so, so me, I'm going to be against that. There's people that are actually doing that. But well, what is the percentage? Uh, There's people that are actually doing that. I'm not disagreeing with. I'm just saying that. It's not as. Oh, I want to talk more. I want to talk more. You see, that's social media because say people they always be bro. See, I have friends, girlfriends, that they will tell me that, ah, this boy now, Kiniko, Kiniko, yeah, he did this one, he did that one. And you not be wondering, you not be going that. Please, first of all, are you fine, babe? Yes. Please, why are you letting that boy stress your life? Yep. Say, yeah, I like him. Eh, uh, eh, uh, uh, that your skincare bag that they brought in now, now. How much Bro. you buy? Oh, surprise. Talo somewhere, I paid for it myself. Please, your dear see me that using this house. Pay for it. You're doing all this for yourself. Please, how is the boy? Balancing the hypertension that is giving you. <laughs> and I'm not saying that, I'm not saying money has to be the only thing for that. But at the very least, at the very least, at the very least. Peace of mind. Peace. So, by fair face, oh, please, if you don't have. Balancing ca- hypertension is a podcast. You, you, know what me, you know what me, I think? You know what me, I think? I think everybody should, we should all be fully formed human beings. And I think until we get to a point where we are all fully formed human, and secure. And secure human mm. beings. Because my is, I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. <laughs> what do you mean by balance? What do you mean by? No, no, no. So when I say fully formed human beings, I think just as much as as a man, you should not be looking for anybody to come and make your own. You make your own yourself. Do you understand? There's no oh, I'm looking for we come and cook and clean. First of all, I think huh? first of all, I think that's broke people meant for broke this conversation. Is I if I see something that people look at me, like, no, no, I, my classmate, as I had to get, like, that, God will bless that brother. <laughs> I've known him for years, but we've been staying together for like two years now. People come to us and they're like, eh, why, the two of you, are you sure you are living bachelor? Like, they will come. Please, we just gonna buy meat in the market. Alorata, <laughs> we are doing our kidney come by ourselves, and the food will be sweet. It will be Which sweet. Which one is one that, that's why it's the right table. See, my mommy did not trust me with food in my house. It's not you that you will say that one that uh, woman will say, eh, I offended you, I can bring food for you. Please have it. Um, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. So gently, fully from human being. Very, very, because then is fully the from human being. Then is if you're if you're able to stand in and and I feel like a lot of the the relationships are very, very, very fulfilling. Uh the relationships that the two of them have are fully formed. F- fully formed. Hmm. And they, so it comes to a place where at the very least, if one they bend, you don't go just stand so yeah. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Because you I know agree. for a fact that that's yeah where he did. He goes to stand up back. He yes. goes to uh, exactly. Yes. Exactly. I, at I at any point. Because well, imagine that you're imagine, imagine you're dating somebody that a, a man that okay, you have money, but emotional maturity. Stupid. <laughs> Whoa. Character undeveloped. I don't pray for you. I don't <laughs> no, but that's, 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 that's that's fair. Like a fully I don't, no, no, no. human being. I, I think better. everybody should be fully formed. Just as much as um, men should not be looking for homemakers, women should not be looking for who we could provide for them. All of us, provide for yourself. All of us, uh, fend for, um, is, make I don't your home yourself. I don't you All of us, do house, everything. Like, when you meet the person, And then when you come together, you it's search. two pillars. Yes, now. Yeah. It's two full pillars. And Nobody is depending on, it, on anybody for anything. And, and, and when, when people say like two, two pillars, or when people say that financial capacity or like making capacity it don't mean that both of you be equal it don't mean that both oh, yeah, of yeah. you it don't mean that it's not 50 50 it's 100 100 it don't mean that not even that it don't even mean that both of you's contributions will to be equal because in certain places that you are lacking another person can take it off like you can exactly. be a person who does more housework because you just know how to you're not doing it from a place of gone to your head it's just it comes to you naturally also to just do those things like when you're 
buying something for your babe or just spending money. It's not because somebody's putting a gun to your head or because she can't do it for herself. You're doing it because she wants to. See, not, it's not from a place of now. Like I said, 100, 100, just as much as you can do. Ooh. As you can bring or just uh, to the table, bring, bring. Exactly. just as much as the next person you can bring to the table, bring. I know Everybody, I know the funny part because men think everything is so literal. Like, when you say, Ah, what do you bring to the table? and babe say, I am the table, please, eh, please, may you know, verse you if that I am the table. Like, because the funny part is, you know, me do. I say, The day there was somebody I met that baby, I say, yeah, I say, nobody just say, I don't get him, bro. This baby is talking, and I like. I call you start the gauge. <laughs> there, you you finish with first class in law. Ooh. You finish in your school, uh, law degree, everything. Come back to Nigeria. You you became uh, this thing, you licensed in Nigeria. She's licensed to practice in New York. Hmm. Please, share intimidation. No go first, hold me. That's why I said, that's why we said fully for you know, just secure again. Exactly, secure. Because you know if you hold me, I did for you. As you know, you are um, you gonna tell me oh. you don't talk your own you don't work for United Nations, Congress. <laughs> me me who I work for Silicon. This is what I, I have for you won't come out. You won't come and do You won't come and change uh uh Please Mr. I did for me. Right now, like I can say all oh, my friends, maybe there's only one person that is in, and I will not mention his name. Maybe you put me. But like his relationship is not a thing of oh like oh like or financially financially and positionally can you come but at the very least you can tell that the both of them are fully formed yeah. that's i like a lot of the time because people just have this idea that oh i am gonna i'm gonna just find this babe that because that's why a lot of people get into like really really terrible relationship because you just feel like okay this person has this name i'm looking for so i'm going to hold on to it now it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing but over time if that person removes it like if that if that little thing tweaks like melody said two of an idea money you can enter you can say ah that's what i said that's what i said this your baby this your you know really like you know you really do well do you understand you wow really it does like that's you don't really like the babe then that's what i said i don't think it's not like him is see look no I think it's like it it's like him yeah. I'll maybe like somebody you go they, you go they cross seven seasons oh um, uh, you no, go like, I see now you go you know who they say can you come mat that girl mat that she, you go down reach you go down help her do answer down <laughs> and she go to do the equation you should not say and maybe she didn't mean it that way ah. mm, no Actually, wait, I, wait. I saw a video on social media that was trending one Ghanaian man was talking about how he does not want to be the head of the family that in his own family, him and his wife, that it is not the head of the family. That he said, why didn't anybody ask me before saying men should be head of? The <laughs> <laughs> nobody comes. <laughs> I say, I know, and nobody give me. <laughs> I know, but it's the funny. Man, no, it was actually very serious. It's like no. He say, I did on my own. They give me head of family. Who sent me? Who sent me message? Let me explain to you. Me and my wife, we went to school together. We were in the same class. We graduated at the same time. We started working at the same time. Around the same time, we went to find job. And we're now living, we're not married, because it's actually married. We're not married. Why will I be the head of you when I don't even know whether she's more intelligent than me, whether she's, she has more leadership skills? When, you know, when, when nobody me asks I, me, nobody consulted me, you know, so force me to be head of you, I don't want to be head of you. You know, when me, I realized that, well, I mean, she, man, man is the head, woman is the head. Ah, you see, you're not the head of you. you know, no, 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 no. Is this Bible passage one we chase a thousand, two we chase ten thousand? It not say two thousand, ten thousand. That's two heads. Akpa, two heads is better than one. Wallahi, we it's two heads that I'm looking for. Then it's all about you. You don't be head. Head, okay. <laughs> it's two heads me I'm looking for. Where? Two. Where we reach there? <laughs> <laughs> two <laughs> heads. What now, is going on, where we bro? Reach, where, where we reach? There? No, it's not. It's not like as if I'm saying, no, oh, I'm going to run from my whatever. Like, from your, no, no, no. Never, like, at the end of the day, nobody's ever, you're never going to run from your responsibilities. There's things that make you better biologically as a man. Mm-hmm. You are still going to be the ones to be carrying ah. a heavy load because. A service generator. Why? You are a service, oh, a service generation. Okay. Generator. A formal okay. tool. You know, all these things that, oh, God gave you extra bone. You will use the extra bone now. You know, go use them. You know, at the end of the day, biologically, these things are is not easier for you to do it, but like, what? It's easier for you to do it, <laughs> right? Men are stronger than physically, right? And it's like at the end of the day, 
you do the part that is easier for you to do. Do the part that is easier for you to do. But at the end of the day, the Bible said two heads. One we chase a thousand, two shall t- chase ten thousand. That means you as a family, that's why men are dying. Because you are carrying too much stress on your head. God said two heads. Two we chase ten thousand. You, you want to be using one head to be chasing. Now why you go die? Your wife will come their life, they enjoy I mean, their life. I get I like one of the things like cause I uh I'm how will I put it now? I'm I try to be Christian yeah. enough. Yeah. Like so I don't, uh, but people that know me know me anyway. <coughs> when it comes to like stuff like that, I like I subscribe to stuff that I, I like and I don't subscribe to some stuff. So like the whole thing of like like the way some things sound in the Bible, it sounds like oh your wife should come and need them put food in front of you. Or the way like traditional like quote unquote African tradition. And it's like, bro, like which one is the one that please food is ready, Abby. Uh, <laughs> or I make cook am. I will carry plates. Carry food give you. If you don't want to eat, uh, it's kitchen. It shouldn't be that hard. People should just find their it's own tribe and find people. What, 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 At the end of the day. Like the th- this thing eh, like I say, I always say something here. Eh. Relationships are like the, your specific relationship is complex, mm-hmm. but like the moment what bracket is complex, that's the problem. Like what bracket should be simple? Hmm. She get that some bra- So for example, like so um uh uh I I don't know if I want like it's a personal thing, but like fair, I'm just gonna like if you stop talking to someone, for example, like, if I like I've stopped talking to people because like we're, we're, we're talking and they were like oh this this, this that. I don't like gay people, da da da, da. I'm like. Okay. Now, because I have the privilege to be straight and I'm like, although I have like queer friends and stuff, because I have that privilege, I'm going to just go, okay, if, like, I can live with it and just be like, okay, yeah. But if I now realize that like it starts extending beyond that, and you start, which like, is, which, yeah, which is like, what I was saying from the beginning so of it's this like, conversation. All those things that, like, those are the wrinkles, obviously, that you have to figure out. But like, at the very least, like the person. Do you understand? Because, see, look, you can... And your values start, you start figuring out your values. You can say, oh, you don't like... Like, you are not... No, 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 no. Uh, you... hey, Melody, please. Physical attraction is more important. Physical attraction is number one. Wow. Before you say that, ah, ah, ah. I'm going to See, let me tell you, even if... Go, go, man, did you? No, 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 that's not good, yeah. No, man, no, 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 let's not do that. Uh, no, okay. Wait, are you saying that you cannot be with someone that is not, like, fine, fine? No, no, fine, no, fine. If I'm not attracted to you, I'm not attracted to you. I've seen fine, fine babes now. Like, is it every fine babe that you talk to? Someone that you like personally. Yes, now, like, okay. if we meet now, and, like, imagine that we are texting and somebody sends me your number or something, or like I meet you at a random event or where evening and we, um, we are texting, and over, like, you know, they have to develop feelings now. And I don't know how feelings after two weeks or three weeks of texting, but if we don't meet, now it's gonna meet her. It's not that she's not fine. It's just that maybe in that, like, that one on one. You know, then you go for it again. But by that time, you've already locked into something. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. me personally, I just feel like, like na- that's why I feel like Nigeria is making it hard for people. To- that's why people are in really terrible relationships because people don't go on dates as much. Yeah. Please, if you want to go on dates now. Mm. Oh. And it's a wrap. Mm. You will spend the cost money, sure. of going on dates with the kind of food that... I don't want to go on a Lagos restaurant. Maybe I'm going to, to you know, call them out next week because... The kind of things I've been eating this last week. Are you seeing influence? Ah, as Pakwe, you, you are going on dates. As, no, no, or no, no, as no, Pakwe, no, you are going no, to I this restaurant. To, I, I went and I'm like, why, you, why do we have influencers hyping these people? What's all this? Kill and say. Like, what are you cooking in this Lagos? I can say rubbish <laughs> and nonsense. <laughs> rubbish, let's say. Anyways, it's okay. We feel they call your ass, can't chop, uh, <laughs> chop <laughs> so, your food. Maybe I'll start, I'll go and open my own restaurant now. It lasts a job, I'll be it lasts Because me like it this, for. more useless part. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shout out to you, Lulu and Dennis, for coming through on the pod today. As usual, another good conversation. I'm actually always so excited whenever I speak to both of you. There's always so much insight to, to share. Don't forget that this is still Zero Conditions Podcast. We are done for today. It's a wrap. This episode drops on Monday, 8 a.m. You can catch it on your favorite streaming platforms. And please follow us on social media at Zero Conditions. Yeah, okay, that's my, that's my camera. Sorry. Follow us on social media at Zero Conditions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Zero Conditions. Send us questions. Comment under the episode. I see your comments. I read them. Follow Dennis on social media and follow Ogalo. Don't follow me, I'll lead you astray. <laughs> <laughs> I follow Jesus. 
Follow, follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. Jesus. Follow Jesus. <laughs> My name is Melody, and hopefully, Sunshine will be back on the next episode. Bye bye.